So, folks, when the governor sits down to sign, just make sure everyone who's sitting does not stand up because the camera's behind you all the time. Yeah. So, so if it's still photographers. What was that? committed against a partner in an ongoing voluntary relationship. Minnesota will no longer have this antiquated law on the books. And this bill is a testament to the hard work of victims, survivors, and advocates. The group of legislators you see up here were critical partners in making this happen. But what I want to take a moment to really recognize and lift up Jenny Thiessen. in an effort to make Minnesota a more just place for survivors of sexual assault. <clears throat> the amount of courage and bravery that it takes cannot be understated. And I want to thank you for the work that you've done around this issue and for being here today. It really matters. Everyone, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone experiences and responds to sexual violence differently. And the systems that respond to victims and survivors must be able to engage and support all victims and survivors in meaningful ways. This bill brings us closer to ensuring Minnesotans have access to justice. Today we make a history for Minnesota as we move our laws out of the 19th century and recognize that all Minnesotans deserve to be safe regardless of who they're married to. And in addition to the people who are standing with us here today, I want to uh, thank and recognize Speaker Melissa Hortman, uh, without whose leadership we would not be here today. She's been a tireless champion uh, on this issue and we're just very lucky uh, for her leadership. We're also extremely lucky to have the leadership of Jenny Thiessen, who has been with us each and every step of the way. We would not have gotten this done without her uh, bravery and courageous leadership for the people of Minnesota. Uh, everyone deserves to be safe. Jenny Thiessen has helped make that happen today. And with that, I'll uh, introduce uh, Senator Michelle Benson. Good morning. My journey to this place started with a meeting with Senator John Hoffman and Jenny's dad, Jerry, who's right behind us. And he started telling the story of the injustice that Jenny was going through. And I thought this can't be possible in Minnesota. And in fact, it was. And so actually, Speaker Hortman and I first carried this bill in the last session and weren't able to bring it across the line to a signing ceremony like this today. But Representative Stephenson and my co-authors in the Senate picked this up and brought it uh, again to me. And then Jenny started telling her story, a difficult story, 
over and over again until everyone listened. And this is about to become a foundational change in Minnesota because of her tragedy and her courage and our ability to participate in part of what I hope will be healing. I am so grateful to have the privilege of being here and to um, be part of the signing ceremony that you made happen. And with that, Jenny Thiessen. Thank you to everyone who's standing behind me, to Senator Benson, to Representative Zach Stevenson, to Speaker Melissa Hortman, who helped carry this last year, um, to the Governor and Lieutenant Governor, thank you for your support um, through questions through the media, just knowing that you were ready to sign it when it came to you was so exciting and just kept me going, um, so I want to thank you for that. Um, this journey has definitely been a long time, and today is a pivotal moment in Minnesota history. Today, victims, former victims, and people who are still in very difficult situations can know that if they are in an unsafe place, in an uncomfortable place, and things are happening to them, that if they do go to the authorities, that justice will be served. Justice was not served for me. It took a lot of courage to build the strength up, to call the sheriffs, to inform them of what my husband, ex-husband, had been doing to me. Um, he's the father of my children. And, but I knew it was wrong. And I knew years um, of things going on behind the scenes had to stop. And I feel very honored that I have the strength and the courage to be here and to continue to tell my story. Um, I can't thank the media enough for continuing to expose this archaic law that many didn't know about. Um, so thank you for sharing the story. I also have heard that we're making waves nationally in other states. Um, to me, that goes beyond anything I could have imagined with um, this bill that I had a goal to set out. Um, to work with all of um, everyone in Minnesota to, uh, to come to fruition today. So I just want to thank you all for continuing to share my story. Oh, a couple other thank yous. I can't thank my village enough. Truly, it is by having the support of the people behind me. Of course, my mom and dad who have been by my side through everything. Um, we've got people from the Alexander House who sat in the courthouse with me. Um, as I tried to navigate the very difficult criminal system that I had no idea about. And I also have some friends, lifelong friends in the room with me here today. So um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everyone behind me. I truly felt like you've had my back throughout this entire process. And I always felt welcome coming into each room to testify. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Governor Holtz. <laughs> First of all, thank you all for being here. You saw uh, courage, uh, strength, persistence, and you get to witness it today with Jenny, grace and dignity uh, in an incredibly difficult situation. Um, the accomplishment to this uh, goes to Jenny for the persistence of making it happen. A victim of assault, not only a courageous survivor, but a courageous citizen advocate who came to this building and went through the process and says never again to anyone else. That takes an incredible uh, focus. And I'm always, uh, when I'm standing in the presence of it, of watching someone turn uh, tragedy and a horrific incident into something positive for others that you don't even know um, is a real act of selfless service. Um, no longer will those sexually assaulted by others be allowed to claim a defense of voluntary relationship. No longer will this antiquated and shameful law be on our books. To the legislators who worked so long on this, thank you. Thank you for listening to a constituent. Thank you for picking up and taking what needed to be done. Thank you again for understanding our system is sometimes slow and clunky, and Senator Benson for not allowing it to stop last year and bringing it back again until we get it across the line. That's what the, that's when we're at our best. The concept of a pre-existing relationship defense should have never been part of our criminal statutes. It's reprehensible, and because of Jenny, it is now going to be revealed.
She has an incredible village of people behind her. We're so proud of our daughter. She changed the world. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, was there a moment that um, you realized that you were your story was making an impact on people in this building? Was there a moment that stuck out to you? Yeah, there was. Um, after I did my first, when I testified in the house for the first time, um, I had no idea what was going to take place that day. That was the first time um, really sharing my story, story publicly. The only other time I had shared that was when I read my victim impact statement in court when he was charged with invasion of privacy. And coming out of that room and actually being reached out by you and a couple of others in here um, and, and asking questions and then going home that night and seeing, um, seeing my story on TV and knowing that the word was going to get out. Um, was really a pivotal. that I've learned through this process um, and why I continue to say I just feel so blessed to have the strength to do it um, because being down here and having those conversations, um, I can tell you some of the LAs were probably pretty darn sick of my emails and phone calls <laughs> and me just driving down here um, and standing and said I'll happily wait five hours if it means I can have a conversation with someone, um, I was willing to do that. And so, yes, to everyone out there, if you believe in something and you know something um, isn't just, um, start, start moving. Um, persistence truly does pay off. Yeah. What, one more question. Jen, you mentioned this is making waves in other states. Do you, have you planned to do any other advocacy outside of Minnesota? 
Um, so I actually had a conversation with a woman out of Ohio with the Associated Press um, later last week and then earlier this week. Um, and 